Welcome to CheatHappens.com Today we're going to show you a basic tutorial on our new app Aurora which is an all-in-one app that combines all the trainers and all the fun stuff in one place and we're going to take a look on new features that were added recently. Have fun! Okay, let's go ahead and open the software. You can see it's connected automatically, you can change it via the settings later. So this is the home page. These are the latest trainers that came out. You can click on the trainer, choose the latest version and use the trainers. Also on the home page you can see boosted trainers, the graph, funded requests, how much, trainers in queue, you can click on them, spend our credits here. Successfully added credits, noise. On the side we're gonna see our favorite list. We can double click on the trainer and run it. It will always run the latest version and your favorite distribution. Another on the trainer section, you can see all the trainer lists and we can sort them out by platform or by name ascent, name descent, recently updated recently added, etc. Click on the trainer, use the trainer, also we can use recently used, downloaded standalone, tracked trainers, Purchase individual trainers if you don't have the lifetime subscription. And here you can see your installed games which have trainers at CH. You can also search for a certain trainer. The next section is the request. Here you can request new trainers, spend your credits on existing request options. You can download our Cosmos app, which is used to hack games and uh, memory editing to make your own cheats. A cool new feature in this updated version is the built-in Cosmos. You can click on Launch Cosmos here on top. As you can see, you can run Cosmos directly through the, through the software. I wanted to show you another cool feature recently added. Let's click on this trainer for instance. So, recently added the mini videos in order to make it convenient for you to see how the trainer option works. Let's try unlimited nitros for instance. Works beautifully. Let's see the unlimited damage option. Let's have a look on the trainer interface. Here we have the activate trainer button. You can click on that or use the F1 on the keyboard. Usually we activate the trainer on the menu of the game, unless it's stated otherwise and you will read it in the readme file over here, which contains all the instructions on how to activate the trainer. So you can see we can customize the trainer interface, we can use D-pad, change the view to our liking. 
We can even launch the game from the trainer interface. We can get a notification when this trainer is updated. We can add it to favorites. Always get the latest trainer when opening the favorite. Click on yes. As you can see it's added on the side to our favorite list. We can also choose whether or not the trainer will appear in in-game overlay. You can use trainer settings over here, disable all hotkeys, auto inject, in-game overlay, etc. The boards will take you to the trainer boards on cheathappens.com. Here you can ask questions, have remarks and whatnot. Let's have a quick look over the settings. On profile you can change your avatar, show some Aurora features. On MISC we have cool options like enable or disable auto login, minimize the tray via the minimize button or the close button, stuff like that. On the appearance we can customize our interface of the all-in-one app, our Aurora. Let's see. Hide some buttons. You can also change the colors. You can import and export the theme file to be created. You can choose here to disable in-game overlay when mobile app is connected, disable the hotkeys when mobile app is connected, or disable the in-game overlay for all games in general. On audio settings we can choose whether the trainer which speaks, trainer activated and stuff like that will be male or female, and the speaking volume. In this section we can add standalone trainers by clicking add or remove them. You can also clean temp files which sometimes causes some issues with standalone trainers. On keyboard RGB we can enable our keyboard RGB to use the trainer via colors, assign colors to certain options and stuff like that. We can also download an offline key for the users who are privilege to do so and can use the all-in-one app or the trainers when not connected to internet. These are the general hotkeys like the activated trainer that we spe spoke of before. You can change them here. In this uh, section there is special thanks section for all those who donated to this awesome project. Kudos to you. Okay, let's see how the trainer actually works. In this case, I'm going to use Bluestacks to demonstrate how it works via your mobile app and synchronizes with Aurora and the game. So first of all, let's open our Aurora mobile app. To notification, mobile app connected. Let's click on our favorites and choose Thunder Tier 1. As you can see, it also opens the trainer in Aurora app. Let's click on Launch Game and Activate Trainer. Please wait. Trainer activated. As you can see, it launched the game and activated the trainer automatically. Let's enter the game and see how it actually works. <laughs> Let's 
Let's try the player god mode option. Activated. As you can see, it also activated in mobile and Aurora. Let's see if our player is actually on god mode right now. Contact spotted on tower. Let's try the no fatigue option. Activated. As you can see now when we are running, we don't have even a fatigue bar. So it's basically unlimited. I will you. Let's try the game speed option. Activated. Now we are going to disable the speed option from Aurora itself. Deactivated. And it's back to normal. Hope you guys had fun. See you in the next video.